The IRS alignment is done by the pilots during the pre-flight phase. We will start the alignment process by energizing the individual IRs using the overhead panel with the IR selectors number one, two, and three respectively. Placing this rotary selector into the nav position will start the warm-up of the ring laser gyros and then the system will be waiting for you to enter the coordinates. It will have memorized the coordinates from its last position when it was shut down and it will prompt you to verify them. The pilot can manually insert the coordinates up here on the overhead panel. However, this is normally done through the MCU. When we set up the initial information on the init A page as part of our preparation setup, it will ask up here on the second line on the right. After we have inserted the from and to airport we wish to use, if you want to initialize the IRs. Pushing this prompt right here will push the coordinates, as you see right here, lateral and longitude, the last known positions, into the IRs to start the alignment. This will be the second part of the alignment, which is the fine alignment, allowing the IRs to provide a position itself. During the alignment process, you are able to see the process of the alignment from the IRS monitor prompt up here on the data page. This will tell you the total time to nav for the individual IRSs. And during the alignment, you will see this on your ND display. It will show map not available because there is no navigational position yet, as well as a memo here on your engine warning display saying that the alignment process is in fact still processing. Once the alignment is complete, you will get your plan mode or your arc mode. You will get the actual navigational display. The prompt up here, the memo will disappear. And if we go back to our IRS monitor page, all the IRs should now read nav. This is a check that the pilots do before takeoff as well to ensure that our IRs have in fact aligned and are working in navigational mode. If we wish, we can click into the individual IRs to see more information about its individual position as well as time, ground speed, error, etc. This was a short video on a specific topic. If you want to see the full video or see the hundreds of videos we made available for professional content on aviation theory, head on to our eLearning Academy at academy.mindspacex.com. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button to follow us. We're going to be putting out these videos regularly.